beautiful kings and queens welcome to the queendom of creativity today i wanted to provide for you a informational video of the spa at the trs coral hotel in cancun mexico first i wanted to show you a preview of the route from the hotel to the spa this way you could gauge whether you prefer to walk to the spa or ride a golf cart however they have a um, concierge at the entrance of the hotel that will um, ask you if you need a golf cart serviced anywhere on the property and they will happily take you with no problem however I just wanted to leave this preview here in case anyone wanted to uh, walk to the spa I do feel this is a pretty walkable uh, path here and this path leads straight to the spa there are signs to guide you along the way if you did prefer to walk we rode the golf cart on the way there and walked on the way back however you could do both there or um, on the golf cart or you could walk both there on the golf cart it is totally up to you I'm sorry if that footage was in any way shaky or dizzy I tried my best to keep my hands stable for you so it wasn't you know too shaky um, I hope that was helpful to someone overall for my room where I stayed I would say that route was about half a mile there you can see the hotel in the room where we stayed so after you arrive and the spa here is called the Zentropia Palladium Spa and Wellness. I'm not too sure if you can book any services in advance because I did book my services once I arrived. And once we arrived in the lobby, we paid for our services and they gave us an overview of all of the facilities that we could use in the spa, which I'll share in just a second here. But I definitely recommend you to arrive early so that you can make use of those facilities before or after your services. And I did take my lovely mother with me to the spa because I just wanted to do something special for her. They give you those white robes in the changing rooms and allow you to take a shower before your services. Everyone here was so friendly and accommodating to uh, me and my family. However, they do have signs. If you ever forget something that they told you, you can just follow the signs to any of their facilities. And something I feel is really important to discuss around the topic of water, especially being that I myself cannot swim. The All of the water, to my knowledge, in the infinity pools was 3 feet 11. And for reference, I am 4'10". So I was able to fully enjoy myself in all of the facilities. There was no concern of drowning. There were no lifeguards on duty uh, in the spa, but I had, like I said, I had no concern there. At the time we went and visited the spa, they were not very crowded. There were a few people here and there, but we all had plenty of room to spread out in our own areas. No one was on top of each other. I also wanted to point out here in the left hand corner that hallway leads to your saunas, steam rooms, showers, and tubs. When I say tubs, I'm referring to hot and cold tubs. I was able to show the cold tub, but there was a couple in the hot tub, so for their privacy, you can't see much, but it's there in the right hand corner. And when you walk up these stairs at the spa, be sure because i almost missed it at the very end of this hallway please go out there there is a beautiful outdoor area with another infinity pool and also another very important tip about the spa anytime you see those buttons on the wall you can push those buttons and it will activate a form of aqua therapy which i thought was very awesome they had them everywhere all over the spa in all of the facilities they were on the beds the benches the chairs they had like free-flowing showers any of those buttons you push even these chairs upstairs and outside i asked my beautiful mother to demonstrate for us i almost missed these things you guys that's the reason why i made this video to share And there I am testing the waters for my mom to show her that it really was 3 feet 11 and I used to wall because like I said I can't swim so 
I just walked the wall to the end of the uh, pool to make sure that the entire thing was 3 feet 11 inches and it in fact it was and I finally got mom to relax and let her hair down so uh, once she knew that it was actually safe and that there was no risk of drowning it looks a lot deeper because the water is so crystal clear and uh, the way they set it up is just beautiful you guys and i also wanted to point out as well in this view you can actually see the beach from here as well you can actually see the um cosine of the beach from the spa as well so it was very beautiful please take advantage of all of the facilities you guys and on the way out i also wanted to point out there is a bridal suite and a beauty salon as well as a gym although the gym was closed during our stay due to the pandemic And also, do not feel bad if you do not get to go to the spa during your visits because you guys, you have spa quality in your room. The TRS, by the way, if you did not know, stands for the Royal Suites. The bathtub picture there has jets in the bottom and there's a spa experience all in your room. They give you uh, robes, slippers, chocolates on the bed, there's a rainfall water shower head. I can never say that word. <laughs> Don't judge me. There's also a very large pool as well, along with covered beach cabanas and beds. And since this is an all-inclusive resort, there are bars on both the beach and the pool area that serves both alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks and food. And of course, you also have the beach. I almost forgot to say that. But of course, you also have the beach and everything here is just relaxing because of where you are and the environment that this is in. So just be sure to enjoy yourself. Take some time for yourself. You deserve it. Just go and relax and have a great time. But that concludes today's video. I love and appreciate all you beautiful kings and queens. And as always, I hope you have a blessed day.